Hello and welcome to this Sound Basics video. In this episode, I'm going to talk about notes, scales, and keys, and the most easy way you can learn all that stuff. But let's get started. So, when you sit in the front of a keyboard or piano, maybe this is small like this, or maybe it's much larger. But on every keyboard, you have repeating patterns. So the most obvious repeating pattern is you have two black keys and three black keys. And here it's repeating two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys. So this is the first thing. So you can now um, short it down to one pattern. Just concentrate on one pattern like this pattern here. So on this pattern, you have the two key, two black keys and the three black keys here. And the pattern is starting with this, this white key in front of the black keys and is ending on this white key after the black keys. So you know, this is the start and this is the end. Okay. And um, the whole pattern consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 keys. Here it starts the next pattern already. So a pattern has 12 keys. The distance from one key to the other key is called a semitone or half step. Let's call it a half step. So from this key to this key is a half step. From this key to this key is a half step. Half step, 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 half step. And to the next pattern, half step as well. So, and um, if you want to go from this key to this key, you have to count like half step, half step. And two half steps are a whole step. So if I go, if I count all the white keys right now, this is a whole step, a whole step, a half step. A whole step, a whole step, a whole step, and a half step again to the next pattern. Okay, so you know about the pattern already. The start key of this pattern is called C, like Charlie. And um, if you just play all the white keys like this, Of this pattern, this is already the next pattern. You're already playing uh, a scale. It's called C major. So starting with uh, this key that is called C, like Charlie. Next pattern already here. This is the C major scale. And if you just count the simple number of keys you're playing is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means from all the 12 tones you have, you just select seven tones and seven tones are a scale. And because you're starting with the C and you selected a major scale, these white keys are C major. And the next pattern is the eighth note, and that's why you call it an octave. Okay, this is the C major scale. So, and there are other scales, scales as well, like the minor scales. And um, this is not important. This is the C major scale. And um, there is the A minor scale. This is this key or this key. Well, let's go with this key. The A note is a, is a, has a history because um, in, in history there were, there were musicians that had a different tuning for this A note. And um, once they decided to tune this A note to specific hertz, like 440 hertz. This is 440 hertz. And this is called the standard pitch or the standard tuning pitch. And why, why I take this note? Um, 
is because um, you want to know how these notes are called. So we already know this is a C like Charlie and this is an A. And um, to know how the, the keys are called or the notes are called, you just have to know the alphabet because you can just say it like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And now the, the octave is repeating just the higher pitch, A, B, C, and so on and so forth. So this is the international notation for that. But there's, for example, a German Sonderweg. And this note, the A, B note, international, is called in Germany H. So in German, this is an H. In old German, this is H. A lot of uh, German musicians already say B to that note. But um, now you know that starting with an A is just the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Repeating A, B, C, and so on and so forth. So you, now you know the white keys, but you, you want to know the black keys as well. So if you go from the A key, one half step up to the black key this uh, you call it sharp you call it a sharp if you go down from the b to the black key it's called b flat so it's it's um it's important from where you come which which scale you are playing how these how these um black keys are called if you go from um the c one half step up, it's called C sharp. From the D, one step up is D sharp. From the E, one step down is E flat, E flat, F sharp, G sharp, A flat. So you know all the keys, the white keys, and you know how to call the black keys as well. So just to repeat it, you have a keyboard, you have patterns in here. You know the start of the pattern is, uh, is called C. Every pattern has 12 keys. The distances of these keys are called half steps or semitones. Two half steps are called whole steps. And starting from the A note, you only have to know the or remember the alphabet a b c d e f g and the black keys are called like when you go upwards sharp and if you go downwards flat so a sharp a flat okay so now you know the already know the c major scale but you want to know all the other scales as well because there are there are 12 notes and you, you can play 12 different uh, major scales like um, C major scale or um, C, uh, C sharp major, major scale and so on. And every scale only has, has seven keys in it. So um, the charming thing about the um, C major scale is that there are only the white keys are used. So it's very easy to remember, okay, C, C major is just and the octave like this so to and and a, a major scale for major scale you have only count the distances or note the distances down from one note to the next and this this is the next pattern that you can use for every other major scale so if we just measure the distance from one key to the next we we can play in this scale I can um, note that down, like starting from here. The next key is this one. So I have to go up a half step and another half step and two half steps are whole step. So I note down, whole step. The next key is this white key, half step, half step, whole step. The next key is this key. It's only half step, so I note down a half step. Then half step, half step is a whole step, whole step, whole step, 
And the next octave would be a half step. Let's put that in brackets. Okay, this is the pattern for every major scale. So repeat it and just use that pattern. So whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, and the octave, again, a half step. So let's just take any key like this black key, for example. So starting with this, going up, this is a G sharp, because if I start from here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, going down an octave, or just look at the pattern, this white key is in between the three black keys, and, and this white key is as well between the three black keys, so this is a G. And this is the G sharp. So starting from the G sharp with our new pattern is half step, half step, whole step, again a whole step, then a half step, then a whole step, then a whole step again, then a whole step again, and the octave is half step. Now we got it. This is again, I use this hand, starting from this, a whole step, then a whole step, then a half step, then a whole step, then a whole step, whole step, and a half step. Okay, let's take another key like um, A major. Okay, starting with the A, <clears throat> going up a whole step, going up another whole step, a half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, and the octave is a half step. And this pattern is repeating for every major scale on your patterns, on your keys. So from the 12 keys, you have scales with seven keys. And for the seven keys, there's a pattern you can see on the C major scale. And with this pattern, you can start from every other key, every major, sc major scale. Okay, and there is now uh, um, as well a minor scale. And the minor scale is starting from the A. You remember the standard tune pitch A and the start from the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. So when you start from the A minor key or, uh, or scale, there are only the white keys. So and the octave. the octave okay so you know only white keys and now you start again with just counting the differences or measuring the differences so starting with the a going the next key is half step half step a whole step the next key is a half step the next white key is a whole step again the next white key is again a whole step. The next white key is a half step. The next white key is a whole step again. And the octave is as well a whole step. Let's put that in brackets and write minor. So this is the pattern for the minor scale. And um, you can Use it on, on every other key as well. So if you want to have like a C minor, for example, you start with this, you go up one, a whole step, then you go up a half step, then you go up a whole step, again a whole step, a half step, 
then again a whole step and the octave is a whole step again this is the C minor scale for example um, from the black keys you take this one this is the B flat minor scale so starting from this a whole step a half step then a whole step again a whole step again a half step a whole step again and the octave is again a whole step and with this pattern you can you can um, create every minor scale as well you can create like memory hooks for example for the minor scale like why hippos uh, want wobbling hummus wheels was up i don't know or for the um, major scale for example um, we had um, this w w h w w w h for the octave and um, they can maybe uh, say like white whales hiking with wiggling white hands so if you're more the type of memory hooks maybe just find something like that write it down in the comments this this were the only ones i i found or created uh, i don't know i'm not so good in that <laughs> but if you have some funny things uh, people uh, might remember better like those i have uh, maybe write it down in the comments it would help very much <laughs> okay so now um short short repeat like there are patterns on a keyboard you focus on on a keyboard uh, on one pattern. One pattern has 12 keys. The distances between the keys are called semitones or half steps. Two half steps are a whole step. Then starting key of your pattern is um, the key C and all seven white keys is the C major scale and three half step down there's a minor scale and this is um, this is something or a relationship that has that um, every major scale and minor scale have this uh, like a relative or this is the relative key they have the same key signatures so the C major scale just only have white keys no black keys and the A minor scale as well only have white keys and no black keys just white keys just white keys so they have the the same uh, key signature and um, if if i uh, choose another major scale like for example d major scale and i want to know the relative key uh, the relative minor relative key minor scale of the d major scale i have to count down three half tones like one two three and i know the B minor scale is the relative key to the D major scale. And the other way around, the if I have the B minor scale, I want to know which, which major scale does have the same key signatures. I just count three half steps up like one, two, three, and I know, okay, the D major scale has the same key signatures than the B minor scale. So there's all, always a relationship between uh, major and minor scales with the relative keys. So this all is um, explained in something that is called the circle of fifth. But in my opinion, the circle of fifth is far too complicated to understand. If you just go this way, like recognize pattern, you, you already know, like you, you only have to know how to recognize a pattern on a, on a keyboard. Then you have to count something. You have to know the beginning of the alphabet. You have to know that seven keys are in a scale, that there is a major scale and there is a minor scale. And the, major, the C major scale is the scale with the only um, white keys. So you can count the distances between the keys. 
in the minus from the minor scale the a minor scale has only as well only the um, white keys and um, these two scales has a have a relationship um, with counting three half tones up or three half tones down and then you know um, that they have the both key signatures and so and that's it and uh, this is the most easy way i've ever found to explain um, the notes how they how they are called how the relationships they have and um, how to learn the major and the minor scales the most easy way you ever can learn it you don't even need a, a, a keyboard or something if you if you know that there are three and uh, two and three black keys you build around the white keys and you just can recognize that and it's so easy to to learn that in that way so i need to have uh, I, had, I had to need to make this tutorial about that um, to let you know. So tell me if you find that very helpful, if you have some, maybe there, there's another uh, more easy way, I don't know, but let me, let me know that in the comments. Um, I would be very happy. And um, yeah, um, I hope I see you soon again in the next video and stay healthy. See you soon. Bye bye.